Tonight I'm wiping the lens, launching into the tree, crushing into the tree, hanging in the tree, and crashing. One-S drones are awesome, they are inherently underpowered, which makes them safe for indoor and small outdoor areas. Until recently, there was a limited selection of electronic parts for One-S brushless models. Because I am so into safe FPV and such a huge fan of brushless models, I've spent over a year researching various solutions which can actually work. As a result, I came up with two 1102 motors one of them is 12,500 kV model at which we are going to look today. The advantage of using 11 tube motors is that they are smoother, stronger, more reliable and have a longer lifespan than any currently available 0703-0705 motors. At the same time their weight is almost the same. In order to show it to you in action I built my favorite 2 inch Essen with this 1102-12500 kV motors capable to fly on 1S battery. Let's briefly look at the components I used to build it. Okay so I used a tiny buzzer, the Lemon RX DSMX receiver tiny F3 with OSD flight controller with 16 by 16 mount and Cicada 5 amps 4-in-1 speed controller capable to run on 1 and 2S battery. SGL RC CCD micro camera with AKK Nano 2 video transmitter and of course 1102 12500 kV motors. Okay let's put it on the scales and weight it. So it is around uh, 50 gram. Let's look at some indoor FPV footage. In this indoor FPV footage I want to show you that you can fly it successfully indoor. Because of 1S battery you have just enough power to control it really well. And because it's not overpowered it's much easier to practice acro and even indoor as you can see I do it. Of course you can fly horizon or angle mode as well. And same idea. And because of 1S power you can actually fly and not only crash it. I wanted to tell you a little bit more about which props I used to fly Essen. So one of the sets I used was a new dull uh, Cyclone props which gave me really good results and I was uh, really pleased with them. I also used HQ 1.9 inch. They were a bit heavy and I didn't like the result as much as with uh, Cyclone for example. And other props I used were Rotor X 2.5 inch cut down to 2 inch with the prop cutter I designed. These dual blade props so they offer the best efficiency and performance. But unfortunately they just don't come with the required size. Okay, let's check my outdoor FPV footage now. It was cold, windy and wet, that's about it. And then I was just crushing. Enjoy.
I hope you enjoyed my video. Please leave a comment below and let me know what do you think about this setup. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See ya!